cloud computing? Sounds too complicated for you? Well, guess what? You're already using cloud computing in your personal and business life every day. If you have an email account with a web-based email service like Hotmail, Yahoo or Gmail, then you're using cloud computing. The software and emails are not stored on your computer. They're stored on the service provider's computer, somewhere in the cloud. The most famous users of cloud computing are perhaps social networks like Facebook and file sharing services like Google Documents or Dropbox. Cloud computing consists of hardware and software resources rented by third parties to users, individuals or institutions via the internet. Instead of buying and setting up its own data center, installing and maintaining complex software and hiring a team of IT professionals to run it, an institution can save costs by using applications, data storage and computing power on pay-per-use basis. Using cloud computing, the health system can make online personal health records accessible to doctors anywhere. E-government cloud computing services can share citizens' data among government services. Individuals can store personal financial information like tax records on their own cloud. Diplomats can work collaboratively on online documents. Scientific institutions can do complex calculations on remote supercomputers and share and analyze the results together. Yet for all the advantages, there are two main concerns about cloud computing, privacy and security. Most users have privacy concerns. They literally hand over control of their personal data to the service providers. Since all the data are in digital format and numerous copies are made and distributed around various clouds for backup and disaster recovery, the chances of misuse increase. Ensuring that this data is not accessed by unauthorized users is an important challenge for any cloud service. Data ownership needs to be clearly explained in the term of references of each cloud service. Who owns the data in the cloud? What happens if a cloud provider goes out of business? What happens if a user dies or a cloud customer fails to pay their bills or wants to change provider? The lack of standards can make it difficult to move data from one cloud provider to another. Although security measures in the cloud are usually advanced, in an environment of shared hardware and software, additional risks of attack or compromise exist. Concerns include data security, uninterrupted services, password management for accessing the cloud, and data encryption between the users and the cloud. Think about smart cars, smart refrigerators, smartphones, smart cities, and all those devices that are connected to some cloud service or other. There's no doubt the future is in the clouds.